policies actually serve to send the message about the, what the values or the ethos are within a firm. They, they're as much about the message they send as the uh, behavior that they encourage. But at the end of the day, it's really about creating a culture of inclusion. That comes from the top. And that comes from the way the founders of the firm behave. It comes from the way um, whom they embrace within their management teams. Um, and again, back to the point, I think it's incumbent upon everybody in the firm not just to mentor, but to also sponsor. And early in careers for women, um, the men who lead those firms should be looking for who the next superstar is and making sure that their career is being managed in the same way that they might manage a, a, a man's career. I think with respect to pipeline, there needs to be more education for young women at college age and sometimes younger about finance in general as a career. Finance can often be a very intimidating career choice, particularly for women. And so I think demystifying finance as a career for young women is actually key. And I think groups like Girls Who Invest have done a wonderful job. In terms of recruitment, I think simply having a woman be part of the recruiting team when you go on campus to recruit uh, recruit women into your firm. Now sometimes firms say, well, we don't have a woman. We really want them, but we don't have one. And I joke, I say, you know, if you don't have one, rent one. And what I mean when I say that is reach out to groups like the Private Equity Women Investor Network, which is, you know, the five, 500 of the most senior women in the world in private equity. We will help you. Um, it doesn't matter if we're in a different firm than yours. We will help you. We will help talk to these women. We will help prepare them for a career in private equity and let them know what to expect. In terms of gender-related policies, I feel very strongly that until we make it okay for both parents to take, to take um, parental leave, we will not have a level playing field. Until we stop making or, or stigmatizing women because they have to take time off to have children, and until we make it okay for the fathers to decide that they want to be the ones to stay home as opposed to the mothers, I, I think we're going to have a really hard time cracking this.